in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up this awesome umbrella. Check it out. It is literally three umbrellas in one. I got it off of Amazon. The link will be in the description box below. And now let me show you exactly how to set it up. Let's go. All right, so this umbrella is 8.8 .8 feet wide. It is 15 feet long and it can go up to eight feet high. These are the specs of it. Here's the picture. It does come with the base, but you will need to buy the sand separately. So this is the sand that I purchased. Each bag is 50 pounds. And as you can see, you will need 150 pounds worth of sand. Obviously it is not included in the packaging. So you will need three of those bags. All right, so the setup process is extremely simple. Let's quickly open it up. It is a little bit windy, but we'll get this bad boy going. All right, so this is everything that comes with it. Everything is organized, well numbered, J, K, and the instructions. Also, the tools that you are going to need. This is it, guys. This is all you will need to set up this awesome umbrella. So the first step is to take everything out of the package, remove the bag, and we'll be ready to start. All right, so everything is out of the box. As you can see, this is the umbrella, the color that I got. The umbrella is pretty much set up. All you will have to do is pretty much set up the base with the sandbag. These are all the parts that you will get. The instructions are very, very simple. You're simply gonna cross these two pieces, and then we're gonna enter in the pole, build the base just like this. Put the sand in these bags, and we will be ready to go. All right, so let's quickly start. So the first thing that you wanna do is build the base. And we're simply going to put part B right on top of it, just like this. And it should fit in with no problem, just like that. Once the base is in, we're simply going to add this thing on top, just like this. We're going to align the holes, and this is where our toolkit comes into play four bolts for four of these places and a tightener with some washers. All right, so I have taken out all the bolts. So all you have to do is take one of them and put the washer on top, just like this. And then you're simply going to screw it in. We're gonna slightly screw it in and we're gonna do so for the other three sides as well. Just like this, very, very simple. All right. Let's do the other two as well. Check it out. And now for the final one. Obviously, I will tighten them real good. That way it doesn't wiggle or fall out of place. Right. Once you tighten them with your hands and you can't tighten it anymore, then we are going to use a little wrench that came with it and we are going to tighten it down even more. This entire process shouldn't take more than 10 minutes to pretty much, uh, to pretty much set up this entire umbrella. Check it out. The reason I got this umbrella is because I have a decent sized deck. Also, my friend has one and it is pretty sweet in my opinion. The quality is excellent. The price is even better. Also, it comes with many different colors, so you'll be able to choose the color that fits your area. All right, so the first step is officially done. Now we are going to move on to step number two, and that is adding the sides. These are very, very simple. All you have to do is literally align the ends towards this. As you can see, they are perfectly designed to fit on the ends. So we're gonna pretty much push those in, just like that. So once you have all four sides put into place just like this, you are going to use these other pieces and we're simply going to line them up. As you can see right here, this part will pretty much slide over this part just like this and boom. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing to this side right here. Check it out. All right, that thing is falling out of place, but once all four are in, it should be sturdy. All right, so once it is a full box, it will look something like this. Check it out, super simple. So the next step is to fill up these two bags with sand. 
and then pretty much place them right here. I will not be filling them up with sand. They do have a Velcro strip right here that you can open, fill it up and with sand and pretty much place it into this square. I will not be filling it with sand. I do not want the Velcro strip to pretty much open up, have all the sand pretty much come out. So what I'll be doing is pretty much taking these bags, these 50 pounders, and pretty much laying them in this area. And then I'll be using the cover to pretty much cover it up. That way, if I need to move or something, I can simply take those bags of sand, take them out, put them in the vehicle, or do whatever. It, may, it pretty much makes it simple without having to drag all these heavy bags of sand. All right, so this is the way that I'm personally doing it. Obviously, if you want to fill up those bags, you can do it. But I just put three bags, which is 150 pounds. Now I will use this cover to cover it up and make it look real good. All right, so when you put the cover on, it looks like this. It does look pretty good in my opinion. It is not the best cover out there, but it does the job. Also, you want to make sure to hook these hooks up right underneath this. That way they do not blow and they pretty much stay in place. All right, the next step is to pretty much add this pipe into this one. All right, so what we will do right now is pretty much let it drop like this, and then we'll be able to put the umbrella. This is where things get very tricky, especially if you are doing this by yourself. The setup process is pretty much done. The next step is to pretty much add this umbrella, as you can see, where it like uh, bolts on right here, on here. Once you do that, you simply spin it, lock it in, and you'll be done. So definitely get some help because this does weigh a little bit. All right, so I tried lifting the umbrella to pretty much bolt it onto this. Then I realized it was very difficult. And the easier way is to simply take it out of this and bolt it on while it's on the ground. This way you will not be having to hold up all the weight of the umbrella and it will be much, much easier. As you can see, you're simply going to bolt it on just like this. Then we will simply put it into the slot right there and everything will be ready to go. And we should be done setting up this umbrella. All right, there we go. Now I will simply put it in the hole and we should be good. All right, so now the umbrella's in, as you can see. So all you gotta do is pretty much turn this thing and the umbrella will start expanding. Just like that. Check it out. It looks pretty sweet. As you can see, it's pretty much covering the majority of the deck. All right, so once your umbrella is set up, you can remove all these foam pieces right here and the stickers. And if you wanna make it higher, you will simply go right here lift up this piece right here all the way up and then tighten it up as well but if you like the height as is simply tighten this up that way it does not spin and you're ready to go and one final thing that i would like to mention once your umbrella is fully expanded make sure to put this thing in here just like this that way your umbrella does not spin around and it does not come down but remember, when you want to bring your umbrella down, make sure to remove it. That way you can close your umbrella. Now you have an awesome umbrella that will provide you shade all summer long. Also, if you are interested in purchasing this umbrella, check out the Amazon link in the description box below. And as always, press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next video. Peace out.